Welcome back, everyone, to Hearts of Iron for Kaiserreich, Italy, blah, blah, blah. Um, now, we need, yeah, we need a whole lot of you. So, please, reinforce the naval bombers. When are we actually going to have, thank you, uh, when are we actually going to have the first, uh, 29th of September. Oh, well, so now, what is our objective view? Search and destroy, search and destroy, search and destroy. We need to clear these areas of enemy ships so that we can get naval superiority. We can destroy the last remaining enemy fleets. We can help out the Batavian commune, who very nicely decided to bring in a carrier, the Good and Louvre. And, um, oh damn, that is a lot of enemy planes. Yeah, right. That is hundreds of enemy planes. And here comes our fleet to do battle with the last remaining Entente navies in the English Channel. And if we can win the battle for the English Channel, and, wow, that's a lot of convoys. So the lives of a lot of Entente soldiers are not at risk. So hopefully we can kill them all. Uh, yeah, if we can win this battle, then we are truly in a great spot. And, oh god, look at this many convoys just evaporating. That's great. Because now this clears the way for our ships and armies to cross. Oh crap, our battleships are taking a beating from their massive amounts of naval bombers. That is so many naval bombers. Yeah, at some point we're gonna have to we're gonna have to retreat just because of the sheer size of their air force that's intervening. We have at least managed to sink their cruiser. That's pretty good. And we haven't lost a ship yet, so that is great. Second heavy cruiser goes down. If our aircraft can press their attacks in and get some kills, then their navy is going to be gone from here. Be gone, vile creature. Well, that's a battle and a half. So two heavy cruisers and uh, 37 convoys going down. Lots of aircraft on every side going down, but uh, you know, I feel like it was worth it. And now we're entering this battle again. We really need this English Channel to be cleared of enemy planes, which is slowly but surely happening thanks to our allies and their fighters. Now one thing that I would do... Right, I'm in combat, so I can't. Damn, lots of submarines going down for our allies. But yeah, the addition of the Dutch fleet really is improving things a lot in terms of how the naval engagements are going to go. Oh yeah, and now our destroyers are in firing range. They're attacking. I wish that it wouldn't do this all the time, you know, just switching back and forth so that I could actually see what every ship was trying to do, but not really working out. Yeah, from the ship's defeated counter, we can see the results pretty plainly, I would say. Uh, thank you. You know, one thing that I could do... We have naval supremacy here. You've only got four divisions. I could first, before we go after the crazy British, I could use, utilize the northern ports and take down Norway. Damn, that is an evil battle. Apocalyptic. I could take down Norway. What this would do is it would draw some enemy forces. Oh, come on, storm. Yes, red marines. Wow, I actually did not research a lot of many of these texts. In the end, so Marines. 
right. Uh, what if I just duplicate? What if I just duplicate? And, uh... Damn it. I wish I could replace all. have the marines replace our regular infantry. There we go. Just train as many as possible. Because these are going to be useful. Oh yeah, I do like that. So that is two full armies ready to go. And what I'm gonna do with the first one is start to plan the invasion of Norway out. And my objectives with these are twofold. First, draw enemy forces to Norway. Second, kind of see how these naval, invasion, naval invasions are going to be working out. Ah! That was pathetic. From Kiel to here. There we go. This is going to take a while. This is going to take a while to plan for. Logistics company. That sounds like a good idea. We have enough anti-tank for them to be in our infantry? No, they, no, we don't. Also, for some reason, putting support companies really does screw with your experience, as you can see. That's fine, though, as long as we're going into Norway. Not if we're going into the British Isles. Yeah, at least our fleet is doing quite well. Taking a lot of damage from these nav bombers, though. So... Honestly, now nah, we need the fleet to be in here to fight. Actually, I'm gonna re base you to Western Netherlands so that when you repair, one, you're closer, two, it's a level 10. Level 10 naval base. That's always good. Oh, look, one CL. Come on. Killed up. I like how no one's participating in terms of naval bombers. Oh yeah, right, because it's this part of the North Sea. Oh damn, my naval bombers are just out. They are just out. Ah well, I guess I'm just gonna send them back. So that they can get themselves resupplied. Our fighters are starting to do pretty well. And clearing the skies. And oh crap. Here's their three carriers. The Hermes, the Aegis, and the Majestic. And their last remaining battleships. We're going to need to let the Dutch handle that, unfortunately. Because our own ships are kind of busy. They're up here. 
Oh my god, these naval battles are something else. Okay. We can invade Norway now. Wait, hold on. Okay. How's actually the air situation here? That's all fine. Good. Uh, one problem, though. Damn it. Where's my own fleet? Jesus Christ. Oh, crap. I am an idiot. Okay. Good. Now you need to come in and help. Good. So he teleported back to help out my fleet. Good. And there we go. We have landed in Norway. Oh, cr free Argentinians? Are you kidding me? That's annoying. That is very annoying. The bloody Argentines. What to do with the royal palaces? With the conquest of the south, we have uh, control of the territory of the two kingdom, the kingdom of the two Sicilies. And as we bring the revolution southward, the question of what to do with the various noble and royal palaces has come up. Some think that they should be given over to the local communes, others think that the government should use them for the various ministry positions. Finally, the idea of giving it over to the workers' youth league. We're gonna make them government headquarters. Of course. That is the bestest idea. Okay. Now we have our positions in Norway relatively secure. We can start to get some landings in. What I want to do with these bloody Argentines is... I uh, want to get gather up everyone. And there we go. Crush them in Oslo. Good. So the Argentine defenders of Oslo, because yes, of course, have been defeated. And now we can march north to Trondheim, which is the other big Norwegian city. And uh, if we can deal with that, then they're probably just going to capitulate. Because uh, Bergen over here in the west, we can deal with that easily. And uh, why is this... Apparently, one of these naval invasions did not go through. Oh, it's just taking forever because of some enemy submarines. So that's ridiculous. Ridiculous, I say. Hardy's naval... Or, uh, not naval. Norwegian infantry divisions, they're okay. Why are you doing that? Pathetic. You were pretty fine just sitting there in Oslo. Why did you not stay there? Just gonna micromanage everything because uh, it's a lot easier to not get screwed over if you micromanage. And it seems like our divisions are very superior to theirs, so that's pretty fine. Good. Should probably go ahead and repair now. With the level 10 naval base, it should be doable. And now... What I'm hoping is that... Wow, they're just pumping out troops so quickly! They're back to 60 already. What I'm kind of hoping that they're gonna do is... Uh, now they see Norway in trouble, battlegrounds are going to open up in Norway. So hopefully, they're going to be like, oh no, we need to stop him from moving. We need to reinforce Norway and send troops there. I feel like that should be what they think. Really now? Okay. 
good. There we go. Now you're in trouble. Now you're in big trouble. And there we go. As you can see, the British are sending in divisions. Which is the plan to get her. All together. Uh, we draw them in. We destroy them. And then, you know, they're bled out for the actual invasion of the British Isles. Damn, now they're really sending in the fleets. I wish that we had naval bombers now. And why is he not... What the f... Oh, because there's no one. So I guess it's like... No, how can we do that? No one is alive. Ah, well. Why are you not building nav bombers? Because, uh... I don't know. Not enough rubber, I guess. Buy it from the Dutch. So I'm gonna have to hope that the rest of the international is a smart enough. Oh, we can cut off a bunch of Brits. That is always a good thing. Ah, oh, the Argentinians are back. That is so ridiculous. And now here comes the French. Damn, look at that. That's doing pretty well. And still, more garrisons and militias. Honestly, it's looking all the more like uh, the actual British army is mostly just garrisons and militias. Which, I mean, would explain why they're like pumping out divisions so quickly, or how they're pumping out divisions so quickly. But still, though, it's pretty pretty retarded. Because it's going to mean that it's going to be very easy for us to really crush them. goes up he does that and good right now their entire army is going to get surrounded once again in an ignominious manner night vision thank you No. You go there. You go there. And there we go. Trondheim. Once we take Trondheim, they're in trouble. Like, they're in big fucking trouble. Because uh, the last thing that they have is Narvik. And here, that is a lot of enemy divisions surrounded. Good. Now we take Bergen. And now this pocket will be neutralized. So the operation in Norway was pretty successful. Because uh, a lot of their divisions are being just melted. So the objective was essentially just reached. Actually, Argentinians got... Damn Argentinians. Just kill them. End their reign of terror. Okay, British militias dying. That is a good sight. For a wary heart. And oh crap. Don't let them take the port. Let them take the port. Our CV is back in operation. Great. So that's protecting the sea lanes to the newly acquired territories. Good. Now you're in trouble, my friend. 
You are dead, my friend. And good. I guess my allies can take care of Narvik now. And this also gives us new bases from which to invade England. So that's always pretty good. Now it's time for you guys to get at maximum, maximum experience, and then these guys Yes, so rest in Norway. Probably cannot logistically support so many troops though. So I guess um, half of you just be generic North Sea people. So that's great. We're just gonna let the French and the Spanish just march on for Narvik. The Norwegians are almost capitulated anyway. Ah, oh, cut damn it. Some bloody boats are coming in. There goes Norway. Oh crap. Is he fighting someone? Yeah, he's Fighting a destroyer. Jesus Christ. Run away. No. Bloody free Norwegian destroyers are going to kill us. It's pretty pathetic. And now you've decided to get involved with a convoy. Come on. Jesus Christ. He's bugged. God damn it. This naval system just always screws with me. I did lose that unit. Because I've got 23 divisions left in that army. That's pathetic. There are... What the hell are you doing? Okay. Good. So, search and destroy up here. Do this. Good. Logistics company. Logistics and recon. And there we go. So now I'm very... Uh, oh, it looks like they had an election. Conservative Party. Of course, now they are actually the United Kingdom. They're not the Reconstruction Authority anymore. So now my whole idea... Ooh, looks like we beat them just outside of Scapa Flow. Now the whole idea is to just invade them in too many places. Oh, are we going to take out their CVs? Yes, we took out one of their CVs. That is the Hermes. The first carrier ever constructed. Or first purpose-built carrier, I believe, ever constructed. Or Actually, maybe the Hermes was a converted aircraft carrier. No, 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 sorry. No. The first one was Argus, not Hermes. Got them mythology names really confusing me. I'm not sure if it was Argus or Hermes. I get confused. Anyway, historic ship of the British Royal Navy. Now dead. Prepare for liberation. We do have random... Wait, what? Oh, available planes in reserve. As in... Well, right, we, we took um, Norway's planes. That's always great.
Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll go on a little bit longer. We've also got a nasty amount of fighters. We're gonna create 200 wings of fighters. Like this. Where did I put my bloody navs? I guess I can just trash you. And trash you as well. You're gone. There we go. So I'll just design the plan for next session and then I'll leave you guys. So what I'll do is I'll have, so I can land 10 divisions at once, right? So what I'll do is I'll have five in the highlands in the north and then five in the south. And the five in the south will be all around Dover, of course, because that is where, you know, so I'll, I'll have like three south of London and then two west of Dover. And their objective is gonna be to take Dover and then move on London. And then the ones in the north, they're gonna be around Scapa Flow. And uh, yeah, there's gonna be three in the mountains and two in the highlands. So their objective is to take Scapa Flow and the port there. And from there, I'll have the North Sea forces. Damn it, looks like we've lost more bloody transport ships. Lost two more divisions, it's just sea transport. That's pretty fucking derp. So well, whatever, uh, these troops, they're gonna, um, they're gonna be all redeployed to the north, all of them at once, you know, all the 20 divisions. And then once we take Dover, all these 24 divisions are gonna be re redeployed to the south. And then we're gonna sandwich them in between. And hopefully they're not gonna have enough ships to stop all the transports. That is essentially what I'm banking on. Hopefully they're not gonna have enough ships to stop all the transports. And then we just kind of squish them in between and that would be the end of it, I would say, because, again, as I said, I'm not gonna fight Russia. So it would be the end of the playthrough. One of the ones that I played to the utmost completion, actually. Oh, look, they're actually, oh, this is great. They're sending troops to Norway. They're sending troops to Norway again, which is great because this leaves me with a much, much better, you know, um, like distraction. They've sent a bunch of troops to Norway, so now the United Kingdom itself is going to be more open. Anyway, thank you all. I'll get you back next time. Some more Hearts of Iron, and um, I'll see you soon. I'll actually take the commando for more supply grace. Have a good one.